Hey what's up guys, it's Kyrix and today I am going to show you how to make a future rave track like David Guetta and Morten. Future rave is a new EDM genre started by David Guetta and Morten. It's a combination of techno, big room and progressive house with melodic arp leads, fat bass line and punchy drums. With that being said, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into the video. The presets in this track came from all 5 Future Race presets pack. Future Race is the new Future Rave style preset pack inspired by David Guetta, Morten and many more. This includes 200 plus presets for Serum and Vital. And when you get the pack, you also get 3 extra packs per free. Also, they are giving away a free version of this pack that you can download now. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. First of all, you want to start with an ARP like lead melody like this one. Try to combine low notes and high notes to achieve this style. One simple trick is to start with one note and then just move some notes higher to create the melody. Now let's look at the layers. That's the presets I've used and it's included in the free pack. But with the paid version, you can get more presets like this. And then, try to add an octave higher to create variation in the second part. To make it sound more aggressive, I put a bunch of effects on it, such as OTT, Camel Crusher, Compressor, using this glue plugin to glue all the sounds, also a Valhalla Room for reverb and a pretty reverb just to add more reverb on the breakdown. I also added this peak controller to automate this wet knob. So, what it's doing is basically turning up the knob when there's no signal and turning it down when there's signal to achieve a much cleaner sound. And lastly, the sidechain. And then you should automate the reverb to make it more interesting. And then there's this impact and some reverse sweep and synth. We have another reverse synth with a lot of reverb and some panning. Next the kick and the bass. First we have this really heavy kick and the sub bass. What I did is I combined two kick, a normal kick and a tonal kick. The tonal kick here is the sub. To do this make sure to set this to smooth. So we don't have any clicky sound and then you can combine them together to create this big room like kick. I added a sound goodizer to the kick to make it really heavy and punchy. For the sub, I just made a low pass EQ. And by the way, I also added this small kick just to add some click to the kick and make it pop up a bit to the mix. In the break, we have this wrist bass and I began adding some notes on it to make the track a bit more interesting. We have this preset and in the effects, there's a low pass EQ and the camel crusher to add more distortion. And 
Then we have this tab using the sample and some effects in the mixer such as EQ to remove the lows, Camel Crusher and the sidechain once again. To add an atmosphere in the background, we have this pad and it sounds like this. In the effects, there's only an EQ and a sidechain. Next, we have the simple plaque. I added some EQ, reverb, sidechain, and I also panned it to the left so it separates a bit from the mix and the remain in the background. And then there's the simple down lifter. On the last part, I just added the breakdown notes on the sub. Then a drop clap, hi-hats, tom to add some groove and a clap. In the master, we have Endless Smile for the build-up, Pro MB, The Glue, Ozone 9 Imager, and Pop Filter Pro L2 Limiter. If you want to know more about my mastering, you can check it out here. If you really want to get more awesome presets like this, don't hesitate to get the main Future Rage pack and that will truly be useful for your Future Ray production. You can also download this project file for free using the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video or leave some comment down below on what you think about the track. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon on the next one. Now let's hear the final result.